And welcome to Galaxy's Gameplay video of World Warships Closed Beta! I'm Dexter9, you are playing the Closed Beta once again in this, and if you watch the intro, or at least if I put it there, uh, you'll see that I ranked up twice. Uh, my first time I ranked up, which is rank number 4, I got free XP, which is basically XP they can use across all your ships, uh, slash vehicles, because I believe World Warships eventually will have, um, cross-cut penalty with, uh, World Tanks and World, and World Warplanes on the PC. Uh, meaning that all three games were shared, uh, were shared, uh, credits and XP because, or at least I think that would happen as, um, as World of Warplanes and World of Tanks right now on the PC both share, uh, free XP and credits, I believe. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so basically you can grind on whatever game you like to grind best if you have, if you're stuck in a, if you're stuck on the tank, plane, or ship that you don't like, uh, then you can just move it but and the reason why I think that it's not in the closed beta is because the closed beta will get right wiped when open beta comes and the open beta will get wiped when the full release comes all right but anyway so as you can see I got 9062 ship experience which means I can get both the Phoenix and the first carrier oh um, by the way uh, you can click on this and this will show you all your stuff also you can credit stuff so yeah uh, as you can see, there's eight ranks in the game right now. I have five of them, and each rank gives you new stuff. Although I'm not quite sure. Uh, although, why they did this to me makes it makes sense because they want to give new people. Uh, they want to show. They want to slowly give new people stuff so they won't get overwhelmed uh, when they first get the game, which makes sense. But also for those for people that are experienced with the World of series, that's kind of bad because you don't get free, you can't get free XP until you unlock free free XP, uh, and you can't get ship commanders until you unlock ship commanders, which is at rank 5, so you can't grind them with your starter ships until you get to rank 5, uh, so yeah. That's that, but I'm going to keep the other ones as a secret right now because I haven't looked at them personally. I don't want to, I want to, I want to take in the full first impressions of when I do unlock them, so, because I can. Alright, but anyway, so let's sell. We only got two ship slots left. I can spend my tokens to get even more ship slots, but I'm not going to. Not yet, anyway. Alright, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, let's, uh, get rid of you. Actually, let's take a look at you first before we get rid of you. Now, selling in the World of Series. Um, basically, when you sell something... Uh, you get you get you get a portion of how much it cost initially, uh, how much silver it cost initially, and that's basically it. And if you want to get an, if and if you want to get it back again, you have to rebuy it in the tech tree. Uh, you can see if I do this, so uh, yes. All right, as you can see again, uh, let's go to Japan. Ignore that for right now. Uh, and as you can see, I can buy it again for. I can buy it again for, um, how much? Probably for nothing, this is a tier 1 ship. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, yeah, why am I talking about this? Well, if you have a premium ship like the Sims here, do not sell it unless you are absolutely 1000% sure you don't want it anymore. Because premium ships are like the normal ships if you sell them. I don't know why they do this, but it is. They don't give you any go tokens back, they don't... You can't just re-get the ship whenever you want, because for special ships, that, for I mean for special vehicles that only go on sale every so often, that will make sense to why uh, you can just rebuy them. But they're not free. You actually have to rebuy uh, them with tokens for the full price. So, like I said, premium ships do not sell them unless you're absolutely sure you want you don't want them anymore. I learned this in the World well, Tanks Xbox 360 Xbox 360 edition. Well, yeah, uh, when I was doing my, uh, like, my third or fourth gameplay video of it, and, uh, I was taking a look at the Mega Pack, and I sold the Locust, because I didn't, I wasn't feeling it at the time, and I wanted to see what, and I wanted to see what happens if you sold a premium vehicle, and that happened. And I had to rebuy the Locust later, but it, I mean, it's a good tank, it's definitely worth buying twice. Uh, but anyway, so enough of that. Alright, let's get ourselves, oh, by the way, I got enough, uh, I got enough experience to get the, to get the first, uh, destroyer. Alright, uh, let's get the Lingley. The sale's gone, unfortunately. Yes. Oh, by the way, I got all these credits from The Sims, because The Sims is that awesome. 
Oh, speaking of, uh, I did do a dirt. I did, I did do a dirt for line look set of The Sims, by the way. That's actually not a lot. Hmm, that's new. All right, back in the other world of games. Uh, if you were to buy a new, if you were to buy a new vehicle, whether it be a plane or a tank or anything that's close to a tank, a little tank's case anyway, uh, you will uh, basically you could you could pay you can either get free training, which basically start out nothing, or you get credits, or you can pay with credits and you get a lot of it, and you get a bunch of XP on him. Or you can pay with money and you basically get them. And basically get everything. Uh, get them fully ranked up. But apparently, uh, they actually give you skills now. Straight off, instead of just making it so you don't have to grind as much. I mean, we have plenty of money, so let's try it. Yes. Alright, I got myself my courier. Alright. Now, this was actually. Uh, now, this carrier. It, now, this is the first US made carrier of all time. And basically, this served in World War II as a trainer ship, just to train new pilots and stuff. These things are huge compared to those. I guess these are recon, those are bombers. Um, but yeah, that's what the Langley is. Um, by the way, uh, I might as well go over the history of the ships now that I know them after I read the wiki. Which the, which the wiki kind of sucks still. It's worse than the World of Warplanes wiki, but... I think it's the job done, I suppose. Basically, it base most of the most of the ships gives you a brief history about the ship, as well as a more detailed history, uh, and lower down in the wiki. But some ships, like the St. Louis, actually has a player opinion, where basically the St. Louis is popular because there's so many guns, and that's why I like it. That's why I'm not going to sell it. All right, but anyway, let's get the let's get the Phoenix. Wow. Wait, are these? Okay, two guns are next to each other. That's interesting. Okay, yeah, let's purchase. Sure. Might as well try it out on a, on a combat ship. Nope, a ship that actually gets into combat instead of a carrier, which does not. Um, game. Uh-oh. Ran into a problem, I think. Yeah. Alright, sorry about that, Mike. Uh, everything froze. I tried hitting the Windows button, did not work. I tried hitting Control Delete, did not work. Yeah, um. I, it could be my computer, or it could be the game. I think it's just the game, though. But at least we got the Phoenix. That could be worse. Yeah, we got the Phoenix here, yeah, Phoenix. It is a rather interesting looking vessel, I got to admit. How many. It has a bunch of turrets, which is a good thing. Two, uh, two, four, six, eight. It has eight turrets, more or less. Or just six. I mean, it's six sets. I mean, three sets. Three sets of turrets. Yeah. We will try that out later. All right. Actually, now let's uh, take, now let's go buy ourselves the starter, uh, the Samson. But like I was saying before, um, yeah, the Erie base. Uh, let's go over the history of the ships real quick. The Erie was is actually a War II ship, while these two are War I ships. And I think the reason why the Erie is a War II ship, but it's your Tier One ship, it's because it's an oversized gunboat. Basically, it's it's not really a cruiser. I mean, it is really a cruiser, but it's also just a very very big gunboat. I'll go basically a few. All right, and we're out of slots. Um, while, uh, and, and, and actually the Erie was actually patrolling the um, P Panama Canal in World War II, and actually one of them got sunk. There was two ships, and one got sunk by a German submarine. And we got the Chisler and the St. Louis, which are actual World War I ships, which actually pushes the game back further than, well, for, further than what World of Warplanes and World of War and uh, World Tanks has, which uh, well, tanks earliest the earliest uh, tank was is the French charter tank, and that was in World War One, or that was slightly after World War One, or it's at the very end and slightly after World War One that tank dates to, and that's the only 
the World War One thing that's in World War in World of Tanks. And World of Warplanes has a couple planes that were from World War One or really early. Uh, actually, no, they were early. Um, they're in the. They were in between World War One and World War Two. While uh, this game actually has World War One stuff and probably nothing from the '60s, unlike World of Warplanes, which has a ton of '60s stuff, and World of Tanks, which has a couple. All right, but enough of talk. Oh, and I also want to show you guys something that they just released. Uh, if you noticed this before, you see it's Uck. The, the Uck is here. The, the Uck has a presentation in this game now. Or the Royal Navy Duck have has a, have res, have a representation in the form of the War Spite. You know, um, Queen Elizabeth class. Super Dreadnought. And this thing's pretty cool. Uh, except for two things. The turret rotation is slow. By slow, I mean painfully slow. As in it takes like 70 seconds for the entire for the turrets to go from over here to over there and also its range is kind of sad uh, it's not as good as the it's not as good as the other battleships uh that gets the job done and basically this is a stealth battleship uh basically your idea is to get cl as close to enemy as possible on island maps and just be an escort on uh or just hide away from the destroyers on the ocean map which I might get this eventually, as you can see. I only need six thousand, which is like thirteen dollars. So I might get this eventually. Although I really want the, although I want, I have more of a thing for the Atlanta than I do for the War Spite. But, it, but in case you wanted the War Spite in World of Warships, there you go. All right, but anyway, enough talk, enough delay. Let's let's sit at the Langley and see what happens when I take a carrier for for a spin. All right, the elevator empty. Here's the Langley, everybody. Alright, uh, my first carrier battle. Sure, let's do random battle because I can. Actually, let's see what let's see what I can upgrade on you. Okay, from reserve, you just need the nope, can't no, we can't do the reserve because uh the other guy's Japanese. Okay. Over here. Uh, those are, they don't work for a carrier at all. Well, I guess repair time. Alright, yeah, this is cool. You get a nice little, t you get a nice little tech tree for your, uh, commanders. But we'll do that, we'll do that later if I, hmm. That doesn't, okay, okay, yeah, to pull up to Peter Bowman's. I might as well go down there, but let's see what the ship is like. Standard. Alright. <laughs> Now, um, I did watch, uh, Morgan's tutorials on how to play the carrier, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be good with it. Uh, I, this is my first time playing a thing like this in the World of Series. I never played Altoris and World of Tanks, either of them, PC or console. I never played attack aircraft in World of, War, in World of Warplanes, because there's no American attack aircraft. Or when I was playing it anyway, and as and as you can see, I mean as you can gather from the fact that it's my first match in the carrier, this will be my well I haven't played a carrier before, and the carriers are the most interesting bunch of the bunch. Basically, it's like a little RTS game. Um, if you remember back when I did my channel, uh, back when back on back in the day, like a, like one or two years ago, uh, there was this game called the uh, carrier the like, carrier command GR mission. And basically, played a, basically, it was a game where you had a carrier going around to several islands, and the idea was to capture those islands from the enemy and, and defend your island, while also commanding air units and ground units via RTS. Where you, could also go into fur, where you can also go into third person and play around with them that way. I have a feeling that the, the carrier is going to like lo a lot like that game. Because it is an, uh, fantastic. I mean, like it matters. We're just going to stay in the mech anyway. Um, but ocean map again. Now let's see who's what. Right, I'm gonna get in game, so I'll be right back. All right, let's do this. As you can see, we are not, we are not in the ship view anymore. We are in the satellite view. Click. There you go. Mode All right, let's get Langley moving here. Yeah, this is what the battleships, I'm not the battleships, this is what the carriers are like in, uh, World of Warships. They are, 
RTS mode. How do I? How do I not? Okay, fine. Just keep like, just be like that. All right. Well, we recon craft, don't we? No way. Have recon craft. Okay, yeah, we got recon craft. We're launching the recon craft. Uh, um, let's. Well, no one has any eyes over here, so go over there. Now, uh. Okay, you. Keep moving. Okay, left click. Got it. Oh, that's on my ship. Got it. I'm trying. Control. No, that's not control. I don't want to move the ship, game. You move. Oh, get go! There you go! There you go! I just had to be. I just had to mash two a couple times, and it works. All right, but on um, the carriers in this game, basically they're they are RTS mode with planes, and your goal is to keep your planes alive as long as possible while also doing a ton of damage to the enemy, as you know as much as possible. Because you do have a limited number number of planes for your carrier. We got eyes on that guy. Okay, let's get rid. Of, let's stay away from the destroyer, as that'd be bad news for my planes. As the stars have lots and lots of entire air. Two. Oh, that just means go back to base. Okay, got it. Get moving. Well, we don't have anything. Oh, there's a cr there's a cruiser. Let's take it out. Launch the cleans. Launch fighters. Okay, well, let's head back to the ship. Autopilot mode enabled. Should go that way. Okay, now I want you. Oh, this is, yeah, you can go in the first person, go like this. We hit shift. All right. Um, I want you. Keep going that way. Yeah. Get out of there. As you can see, they're losing. As you can see, they're losing planes. Actually, this is pretty fun. Even though I have, even though I have no idea what I'm doing, I should have rewatched some of the videos uh, to see what I was doing. But hey, it works. We're not dying yet. Those are not my planes. I wish you could zoom out all the way, though. It'd be even easier to keep track of where everything is. They're like bombers. Oh, these guys are being dumb. Go up there. Oh, they're both battleships. Perfect. All right. Go over there. Keep the, I want to keep these battleships spotted. Oh, this guy is being dumb. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Yeah, this is the ship. Oh, actually, don't do that. Don't do that, ship. Actually, yeah, keep facing away. Oh, double tap. Yeah, there we go. Double tap it. Yeah, I think fire, actually. Uh, that's not gonna actually go like this. Okay, I want them to have a good approach on the ship. There you go. Okay, come back around. That guy's gonna go. No, that, let's get away from those destroyers. Okay, where is. You guys over there. How many guys are you losing, by the way? Uh, not a lot. Yeah, get after him. I actually really like this. This is fun. This is a great change of place and playing a cruiser all day long. Okay, this guy's gonna get taken on. It should work. It should work. Okay, torpedoes in the water. Now get back to base. We're actually going to get a hit on. Yeah, we're going to get a hit on this guy. At least one. Oh, maybe two. If he keeps going straight. Oh, we're going to get two. Yeah. There we go. Oh my! Did you see how much health that I took off? Wow. 
All right, well, let's get back into space mode. And yeah, you guys are clear to go. Uh, yeah, your planes will return to base automatically. Will turn to base, return to carrier automatically. Uh, you don't have to worry about them doing that, except if there's a ton of enemies between them and you. So be careful about that. There's their carrier. Is there a map view? Oh, yes, there is. Hit him, yeah. I'm just going to keep these guys spotted. Not one. Get moving. I saw stuff coming from over there. Are we getting shot at, by the way? I don't think you are. Yeah, that, that, that Langley doesn't have any guns on it. Neither do I, for that matter. There you go. You get spotted. Uh, I wonder if I get any spotting points. Let's see what happens. If they... I'm not getting any medals for getting for spotting that guy, unfortunately. But he's going to die because we're going to... Because we're sniping him right now. It's that cruiser. All right. Get back in the carrier. Launch torpedo bombers. Don't care. Oh, they have to... Yeah, they have to rearm. Yep, I guess having a better rearm is a good thing, so I'll be taking that perk over over the repair perk, because we don't really need the repair perk all, repair perk all that much. If we uh, um, if I play the carrier smartly, I shouldn't be needing to repair it. Unless, of course, we lose, and then... Unless, of course, I lose all my escorts, and we have a problem. Um, but, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the other skill branch, uh, the one with the, the one with the computer arming, so we can do this faster. Yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing between him and that except those recon planes. Watch out for that destroyer. Might be a problem. Uh, let's go back into this view. All right. Um. Uh, um, um uh, uh, yeah, keep doing this. I want the battleship to be spotted to death. Actually, we can go back and re we can go back and spawn that bloody courier. Oh, uh, no, he no, both, both targets don't really need to be spotted all that much. Okay, where are my bombers? Oh, right there. Oh, you guys are going to get owned. Oh, uh, if you guys can get in range. This is fun. It actually reminds me of, um... Uh, what was that game? Um... I can't figure out what that game is, but I did have a gameplay video of it. It's a World War II uh, RTS naval strategy game where you can play like, Ten of Nations. Uh, what's it called? I want to say Barrel at Sea, but that's a project Infinite Expansion Pack. Um, where? There they are. Uh, a Victory at Sea, that's what it is. Victory at Sea. This guy's gonna get owned. You're gonna get owned so hard. Yeah, show me your broadside, Alexa. Show me your side of your gigantically long ship. Suck torpedoes. In one second. There you go. No suck torpedoes. That might be a little early, guys. Uh, uh, you can really command your units and tell them how to actually aim. Oh, this guy was dogging them. You're, you're good. You're good, I gotta admit. But now I got him in the bad situation as he can't shoot my two teammates now. Because like torpedoes got him off target. And I was just gonna get annihilated. Good work, good work, torpedo bombers. I wasn't expecting to actually hit him. I mean I wanted to hit him, but also getting him so we had to go see, see if he was if he would have continued this course going that way. Uh, then he would have plenty of time to shoot my that battleship and he would be in a better situation to do as that guy. You know, that cruiser. But now since I'm in uh, change of course, I could just pound on him and this and he couldn't shoot our friend. So yeah. I might as well. Oh wait, no. Oh yeah, victory. <laughs> World of Warships. Our first victory as a carrier. Oh yeah, first game as a carrier, first victory. Oh yeah. And you know what? The carrier is fun. I was kind of worried it wouldn't be fun as I always, as I never, like I never tried to tell you 
at least once, and I never did the attack aircraft in World of, War, in World of Warplanes. And it's my first time playing a role that's similar to them. And you know what? The gear is fun. It's different. It is very different to how the game normally played. If you like more of a sit back, relaxed uh, type of play style, where you just sit back and let your little planes do all the work, and you do, and you have to think, to, you know, you have to think about where where your planes are going so they don't get owned by just enemy destroyers and carriers. And the carry, then the carry is definitely for you. But if you want more action, I mean, like, I mean, from what I played, action. The ones, the ships that actually require most thought and most, you know, most split-second decisions are the destroyers, cruisers, I mean, the destroyers, and cruisers, maybe, some of them, and, um, and then, uh, the, and then battleships, battleships are slow, sluggish, they require lots of thought beforehand, while the destroyer, you can just go and not have to think about it much, uh, and carriers, Basically, they're behind the lines, yes, but they do require a lot of thought, like where you want to place your planes, who, where you should shoot your planes to first, to begin with, and then, um, and then how to get those planes there without losing all of them. Because you do have limited planes. Of course, if you lose a squadron, that doesn't mean you lost that squadron, you just get more out of the hold, uh, being out of the hangar on the carrier, but you only have so much, so many planes in said hangar. Alright, let's get back to port. And we're almost, and we're actually almost out of time, so I do apologize for just having one ship today. Uh, one, one, no, one battle, but I'm gonna record another one right after this, so yeah. Uh, I mean, I just, you know, only show me buying the new ships and talking about the old ships, and you get the idea. Alright, so anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna take the risk of going over time. Uh, or going over time too much as I did last time, unfortunately. I had to cut it in half, more or less. Alright, but anyways, so yeah, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you guys, guys watching uh, this video. You saw to me. Last thing, last if you to leave a comment, I should tell you what you like, tell me 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 what you like, And let's take a look at this tick tree. Yeah, independence, what do I have to do? Ten. 10,300, not too bad, except I'm playing, except this is a carrier, and I don't seem to get a lot of XP unless you dominate with the torpedoes, or the dive bombers, which I didn't go over what planes can be on a carrier, but we'll go over that next time. Uh, I, I might as well go over it now, because we still got like 2 minutes, um, before 30 minutes, before, before the 30 minute mark, but anyway, so the carrier can carry 4 planes, 4 types of planes, or at least it can, uh, not all of them do, as the Langley does not. Uh, you can have recon planes, which are which are all about spotting ships uh, for your team and for yourself. Uh, fighter planes, which are about shooting down recon planes and finding other planes. Uh, and then you got torpedo bombers, which are for shooting, which are for going against the broadside of a ship, and dive bombers, which are supposed to go against um, against the front of the ship and basically going lengthwise instead of widthwise. Uh, and um, yeah, and it's since said at least I've I've heard that the two that the dive bombers are not actually that good, but we shall find out once we get there. Alright, but anyway, so uh, yeah, I guess see you in a second.